1974 MGZ says, I love what you're doing. I am a fixer upper kind of girl and I have always wanted to fix things for a living. Not sure how I would even begin since I have always worked at a desk and have always known I could do so much more. Where should I start? I have helped family with things around the house and at home and even with my boyfriend. How do I get into this industry and thrive? Age is also a factor as I am 45 and a single mom. Yeah, so there's only like three major things. Never give up, like persevere, invest in your tools. It's, it's the one major thing that, especially if you're just starting off, have your tools and, and network. Just constant network. That's, it's the best way to get into this field. Just keep asking, asking, asking. Like I said, you go to a donut shop, you see somebody, ask. It doesn't hurt to ask. I was bored and it was to the point where I was miserable. I was honestly I was miserable. I was coming home from work, I was going to bed, and I was waking up and going to work. Weekends, I was just sleeping. It's with sitting behind a desk is making me miserable. Sitting on a computer all day was making me miserable. And it was affecting my whole entire life. So I just, at that moment, I knew I had to change it. I had to do something. Go find somebody who's in a trade that you're looking to get into and ask if you could just follow them around for a couple days. And do you think age is a problem? Like she said she was 45. No, I don't think age is a problem at all. I was 36, 37. You know, if it's a physically demanding job, obviously, as long as you can uh, uh, keep up. Like at first, you're gonna be sore, right? But as long as you can keep up, then it isn't a factor at all. Yeah, it, it, just don't give up. Just like, you're gonna hear no, you're gonna hear no. No, 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 you have no experience or anything. Like, just don't give up. And I was driving back to Keswick and, cause the guy, the electrician couldn't apprentice me, right? So he's gonna give up. I was driving back to Keswick and I was like, that's it, I'm gonna look for a job back here, I'm gonna move. And as I got on the highway, I heard on the radio about Fix It Females having um, a hiring event. And, and it was that day. And I was like, should I keep going or should I stop? And I had a resume with me, so I stopped. I was like, yeah, I was at the exit on the highway. I'm like, should I keep going? And I stopped. I, I just like kind of autopilot got off and I went in and met Anastasia and the rest is history. <laughs>